He doesn't lose. I mean, that's the, the biggest thing with him. Obviously, Armand's been a fantastic player at Arizona State, but he didn't come in nearly with the accolades that Alex has. And I think Alex has always drawn the top receiver for every team that Gorman's played in. When Gorman has played their out-of-league schedule and their out-of-state schedule these last few years, he's gone up against some premier receivers, and he's held his own. You know, he, he was good at the opening. He was good uh, pretty much every camp and seven-on-seven -seven tournament. He never gets the credit that he's deserved. Uh, and I think because you got guys like Bubba Bolden who get a little bit more attention, his best friend, um, obviously the offensive guys on Gorman, but but you know, Alex has been a rock in that secondary for Gorman. And so you bring a guy who's got a winner mentality and just, you know, he's been basically playing against college level receivers for three years now at Gorman. And again, it's hard to get a kid once he decommits, it's hard to get him back in the boat. And I think ASU just, they were smart and they were persistent and they stayed on him and, you know, kind of let him have his time in the wilderness before bringing him back. And I think that was a big pickup for ASU to get him because he had plenty of options to, to leave after decommitting. And I think that was a big get for them to, to bring him back into the fold.